NPR author and expert podcast series. My name is Stacey Emerald Kaufman. I'm the radio director for Annie's Big City Number One National Radio Campaign that includes a performance guarantee and unlimited media training. Annie Jennings also offers her famous performance publicity program with no monthly retainers for influential online media outlets and television across the country. If you want high power publicity for yourself, please contact AnnieJenningsPR.com. Today's guest is Mike Sims. He's the author of the Vicky series of books and the number one sci-fi book, Southern Cross. Mike advises people of all walks of life on their books or their desires to write. His books have been noticed by Hollywood as he has a team of celebrities that are working with him to make his books a television or movie reality. So welcome, Mike. Thank you for having me on your uh, podcast. Well, you are so welcome. And let's talk about this Vicky series of books. How did you come up with your first book, which is titled Victim? And how did that turn into a full-fledged series? Well, it ended up, I'd, I'd written a short story since I was a teenager. And uh, in 2005, I wrote a, a short story called Victim. It's supposed to be a dark comedy. And so I wrote it, it ended up, turning out quite a bit different than I expected and more dramatic. And uh, shockingly looking at it, I realized this was not a uh, short story. This is too big. It it needed to be a novel, but I never wrote one. Eventually I shelved it for about eight, about eight years. And I was, uh, it finally came to me how to write it into a full novel. I was picked up by a publisher and uh, published a victim and uh, as it gained popularity, people wanted to know more about Vicky. As this is a, 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 it's an adult drama book about a, uh, uh, Vicky is a uh, rape survivor that uh, goes through a lot of hardships in life and it's forging her destiny and for greater things. But uh, in this book, it was her dealing with a, uh, a would be stalker named Tim. She decides to, uh, get the better of him and teach him a lesson. And people begin to read the book and say, well, we want to know more how she got this way and we we'll want a series. So I wrote, uh, started writing the uh, made victim, the book number four in a series of six and started writing the prequels, uh, Vicky uh, being the first book and Valkyrie being the second. Yeah. I'm finishing uh, Violet right now. And there'll be two final ones, uh, Victory and Victoria. So as this, uh, uh, it became the series and and uh, started getting uh, some some interesting feedback on it, uh, actually. But uh, uh, and uh, my publisher uh, fell into some uh, some legal issues, so I started uh, my own imprint and publishing my own books through my uh, my own company, Masroff. Well, that sounds like a road that was unexpected, and here you are traveling down it. You said the feedback was interesting for your Vicky series of books. Tell us a little bit more about how they're being received. uh, I get, uh, particularly like uh, with women, they they really love the character and love the story. Uh, uh, The feedback has been uh, pretty good. I've had uh, I've actually had several guys that uh, told me they they love the story but they didn't really like Vicky that much. She was too smart, too powerful, and uh, I thought that was kind of humorous. And uh, asked them, you know, how how can that be? <laughs> you know, uh, Vicky is who she is, and she's very very uh, empowered uh, uh, lady. And so um, the the feedback's been very good, and I've I've been humbled because of uh, survivors that have wrote to me and, and told me what it meant to them. And that's, mm-hmm. that's, that's big for me. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I mentioned in your intro that you have some exciting, exciting plans, hopefully for the future, for the series to become a television series or a movie, and you have a group of celebrities that are helping you. Tell us about that. How'd that happen? Well, it was, um, I was uh, very fortunate that when I was creating the audiobooks and auditioned people that, uh, an actress by the name of Lenny Rico, 
wanted to narrate my books in Spanish. She's a, a Spanish actress, but uh, been in Hollywood for a number of years. And actually just finished a did a movie with uh, John Travolta and Morgan Freeman called The Poison Rose. And she um, she loved the book so much, Vicky, that she narrated uh, that she took it to Barney Cohen, who is a longtime producer. Um, he did a number of things like Sabrina the Teenage Witch and the Friday Thirteenth movie and so forth. And he read the uh, uh, the books and um, and got into the Valkyrie book, a subplot in it called The Lazarus Game, and wrote a screenplay pitch for it uh, for a TV movie, as well as we started pushing for a TV series. Uh, so it was me, Barney, uh, my friend, Nicole and Donnie, um, who is a VP of marketing for a uh, dear TV company, as well as, uh, Lenny. And we, we progressed on and, and was able to get in the hands of, uh, some, some fairly big names, uh, to play the Vicky character. And, uh, along came, well, uh, a friend of mine, uh, uh Jack Holerhan who has uh, played Non in uh, the Superman 2 movie in the 80s, and then plus a number of other movies. But uh, he had a book called uh, Family Legacy I was helping consult with him on and push it for a TV show. So he uh, gave, lent his name to play some of the characters if uh, Vicky becomes a TV series, uh, as well as Southern Cross if it becomes a movie, and as well as another person, uh, Cindy Morgan from uh, Caddyshack, uh, she lent her name to be on it as well. And so they, I've started to build a team of, of, of people and of actors have sent resumes and producers have been contacting me once in a while. So it's, it's getting some momentum. Well, that is pretty exciting. And, uh, you know, everyone out there, you can keep up with what's going on here with the TV series what Mike's doing, any new books that are in the works, all of that. And, of course, you also mentioned his other sci-fi book as well, Southern Cross. So you can keep up to date with what's going on in Mike's world. Check out his website, which is mazaroth.net. That's where you'll find his books, television projects, publishing services, all there. That's mazaroth, M-A-Z-Z-A-R-O-T-H, Mazaroth. Dot net and you can learn much more about Mike Sims. Thanks for joining us today, Mike. Thank you for having me. And thank you all for listening to this podcast brought to you by AnnieJenningsPR.com. Visit AnnieJenningsPR.com to learn how you too can enjoy high-powered, no-retainer publicity to build an influential brand and achieve your goals and dreams. Till next time. <laughs>